Hello everybody, in this video we are going to talk about spina bifida. Spina is indicative of spinal cord while bifida means split. So spina bifida simply means a split spinal cord. Now if we go back to embryology, spinal cord is formed by the neural tube which is formed by the neural plate. So we have the neural plate that will form the neural tube and this neural tube will result in the formation of the central nervous system as well as assist in the formation of skeletal structures that support the central nervous system. For example, the cranium as well as the vertebrae. In spina bifida, the arches of the vertebra do not close appropriately and hence it results in protrusion of the internal compartment that is supposed to be protected by the arches of the vertebra. The first condition is spina bifida occulta. Now the term occulta means hidden which means this condition is often hidden. In this condition there is a small opening in the spinal cord but all contents are present inside with no protrusion outside. This is the most common and the mild condition and you may often see a skin dimple with a tuft of hair when this is present but this is highly variable. Next we have the three cysticas. Cystica is a condition where there will be a cyst on the external surface and it is classified based on the contents of the cyst. First is the meningocele. If you break this word, meningocele. Meningo indicates meninges and meninges are contents that cover and protect the central nervous system. Hence, here in meningocele, the contents of the cyst will be the contents of the meninges. Next, we have the meningomyelocele. If you break this word meninges which means the cyst has contents of the meninges as well as milo. Milo is associated with the myelin sheath. Hence in this condition the cyst will have both the meninges as well as the myelin sheath. Myelin sheath is indicative of neural structures which means even the spinal cord will be present in the cyst. And the final one is the myeloschisis. This is one of the most dangerous conditions because in this condition, the spinal cord is exposed to the air and the surrounding without any layer of protection. And hence, it is most susceptible to infection in this condition. And hence, this condition is the most severe out of all of these conditions. So if we have to rank them in order of severity, This is how we would rank them. Myeloschisis is the most severe. Next we have meningomyelocele. Next is meningocele. And finally spina bifida occulta. That's all we have for today. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you.